And a good evening to those of you in the East and Central time zone. Good late afternoon out here on the West Coast. We're in State Line, Nevada. Lake Tahoe just behind us, 41 degrees, and the sun is shining as we get set for Honda NHL Outdoors Sunday. The Boston Bruins and the Philadelphia Flyers in Act 2 here in Tahoe. Regular season's normally 82 games, 56 this year, but it is still something that resonates and is remembered by the players who get the chance to even be a part of it. The first period on, Flyers going towards the net quickly. Behind Couturier comes up to Myers. His drive is blocked, and the Bruins take it back the other way. Here is Marchand moving that way. Marchand through the sun. Cross ice. They score! Right away, it's Pasternak. 34 seconds in. one nothing Boston. The block shot. The quick exit. Two on one. Sun in his eyes. Perfect pass, and Pasternak does not stop this puck. Oh, it was a shot blocked by Bergeron. Excuse me, it was not Marshan. Bergeron moves it up, and then the quick release from Pasternak gives the Bruins an early 1-0 lead. Bruins try to gain the zone for Philadelphia. Oh, get it out now. Hit there with right. Aaron Couturier. In front of this opportunity, Bellamy scores! Couturier, who got knocked down, throws this puck, and this puck is sh shot out of a cannon when it bounces off the boards, and here comes Farabee. The puck is on edge. He loses his edge and goes, I believe, Bush, right between the legs of Tuka Rask, who was a little bit slow to react. I think he was just caught off guard by how quickly. He likes the kick plate. Penalty expires. Team's back at even strength with 5.23 to go in this first period. Broken stick on the shot by McAvoy. Couturier back the other way, leaving it for Hayes, centering it in front. It loose, and they score! Couturier waiting on the doorstep as Van Riemsdyk couldn't get the initial shot. Couturier with the goal, and the Flyers take a 2-1 lead. Three on two. Hayes tries to go backhand over. Brass gets it. And then now it's a mad scramble, and Couturier hangs around, and from our look from the plane, there you see the play develop, the breakdown. Couturier finds it and buries it to the back of the net. And a little bit earlier, a little wardrobe malfunction there for Charlie McAvoy. There you see him spinning, able to come back, not able to help out enough. Hofstadt. Well, Clifton, he gets it in deep. Marchand working behind the net. Bergeron goes to the front. And he kept in at the point with a stick and a score. So that stick works for McAvoy. Good job here by Marshan down low. He's able to shield off two flyers, get it to the point, and there's traffic. The traffic is from Provorov. Not so much Bergeron, but more Provorov. And McAvoy's able to step into this one. You can see Provorov move at the last second. Hart not able to pick it up. Goes through his arm. Well, this all started because of a set face-off play by the Bruins. Philadelphia goes to change. Pasternak calling for it up ahead. Pitched it ahead. Richie coming in. Turned away nicely that time by Gostasbeck. Yeah, Pasternak scores! And he gets it. And now Richie has a chance to take this puck to the net, but it rolled on him. So he bought some time. Yeah. And then Ooh. the shot by Pasternak. Was this puck on edge when he let it go? I think it was. I think that puck was just on edge. And Carter Hart gets beat top shelf short side but what a play by the Bruins tip of the cap for one of the best defensemen in the National Hockey League to one of the elite forwards you see him coming it's like okay eight fell lost an opportunity Coyle comes in looking for the angle hit the post and scores again Richie as he has done all night living on the doorstep there's the turnover there's Coyle he finds Smith Smith waits, he's communicating, the quick shot off the post, Got off it. of Carter Hart, and just barely crosses the goal line. Yeah, an important goal for Charlie Coyle, too. This is a guy that's been snake snake bitten all year long, and they, they need more of a balanced attack. They get it a lot from their perfection line, but for a guy like Coyle, challenged offensively because the player's not here tonight. Tough time digging out of a true goal hole. Bruins keeping the pressure on Clifton. He's done a lot of work on this right point in this second period. The cross ice feed to Frederick Stanton. He scores! Over the glove! Bruins.
Williams, who just get a goal a few minutes, a few seconds ago. Watch Frederick. He just gets it, and he flings it. And this is one that Hart would like to have back. I mean, it's from a distance. It is on edge, similar to what Pashinok's shot was, but because it was far enough out, I think as a goaltender, you got to find a way to pick it up, and he was not able to do it. Patrice Bergeron with a back check, and he took a stick right in the face. What a defensive play by Bergeron. Marchand trying to make it pay on the other end to Pashinok. He leaves as they change. Smith has it. The shot score from the top four. His first goal of the year. The Bruins in the middle of a change. Moore takes the shot, and yep. yes, Mike, the pickup off the redirect by Nick Ritchie, but John Moore, two straight shifts. He's got two assists here, and no chance for Carter Hart. Start, you know, kind of projecting uh, you know, what possibilities could be around, so lots of hockey to be played, but you want to put as many points in the bank as you can. No. See what happens from there. Pasternak going for the hat trick, he scores! And David Pasternak with the hat trick here in Lake Tahoe. Right there, right over the stick of Couturier, and then Stadnika makes a good find to find Pasternak, and that's a tough save for the goaltender when it goes from east to west. You gotta push across, and Pasternak makes no mistake, gets it off as quickly as possible. It's not about where you put it, it's just about getting it off right away. And Another hat-trick for Pashanak against these Flyers. Well, Stadnika really sold that beautifully. Some big names from their lineup as well. But an outstanding performance here in Lake Tahoe as the Boston Bruins tie an outdoor game record with seven and win it 7-3. to three.